Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more to Sky 4, Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we began our conquest of the mid-level demon area, which has apparently turned into an amusement park of sorts. Uh, in this episode, we're going to keep going. Maybe Val Torres will be willing to share a little bit more about the love of his life, Artina. And who knows, we might even run into that angel again. Let's go. Lost Dignity. So, continuing where we left off, how did you meet the girl who looks like that angel? Must you keep? Come on, it's all right. It's no big deal. See, Fen Fen, we have your lord's permission. How did we meet? Oh, that's right. It was back when I was still known as the Tyrant. Back then, I was still following my instincts, feeding sense, namely fear, into the humans, and drank as much of their blood as I desired. And then she appeared before me. Love at first sight? <laughs> so, this is how the love started? Desco will see right through this love as a final boss. Love at first sight. Me? I'm curious to learn what kinds of strange things your brains are stuffed with. Demons have an important duty, keeping order in the universe by planting fear into the humans' minds to tame them. Unaware of our noble duty, the humans made us out to be vulgar beings with their exaggerated depictions of demons. Even things like how vampires love to suck the blood of beautiful women and virgins, and other false rumors. Artina and I met during a vampire hunt that began thanks to one of those rumors. Artina wasn't afraid of me. She even sympathized with me. You need human blood to survive? I feel for you. If you'd like mine, go ahead. Not to flatter myself, but I'm pretty cute and I'm a virgin. Does this remind you of anything? <laughs> but promise me one thing. Please don't drink any other human's blood after this. You? Aren't you worried for your life? Who are you not to fear me? I'm just an average civilian. I'm also a nurse. I try to keep myself pure, so please, go ahead and take my blood. <laughs> my pride will not allow me to indulge in the blood of a human who possesses no fear of demons. To fulfill my duties as a demon, I will bring you to the depths of fear before I take your blood. Uh-huh. Okay, it's a promise then. Please don't take anyone else's blood until you scare me somehow. A promise, you say? I am pleased. I will take up that promise. Scaring you shouldn't be much of a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you better keep it. Just so you know, it's actually going to be quite tough to scare me. Plus, we're in the middle of a war. Just pray for me so I won't die before you get the chance to scare me. Demons don't pray. However, it wouldn't be good for me if you die. Very well. Until I keep my promise, I'll watch over you so you won't die. Nevertheless, it won't take long. I give it three days until I get to take your blood. Is that the reason why you stopped drinking blood? A vampire's power comes from human blood. If he won't drink it, then of course. His power has gone. That is the biggest regret of my life. If only I were by his side, that wouldn't have happened. N no way! How could a legendary tyrant drop to this level just because of some promise that he made to a human female? Well, what happened, happened. He's a pretty instructor now. Anyway, I never would have expected you to be the type who would go head over heels for some lady. 
You want it, bastards? Die! You die! We were in the middle of some love talk! <laughs> Desco too. Desco will not let anything come between Big Sis and Love Talk. Oh Desco man. Oh, this map! Haha! I got some stuff to show you guys after this. Well, maybe. Anyway, uh, in between episodes, I did a little bit of level grinding. Uh, you can see Desco is level 54 now. <laughs> I may have gone a little bit overboard, but uh, I reincarnated both her and the Measle. Uh, just to get them caught up with my other... Uh, unique characters. So uh, that explains the high levels a little bit. Now, we can sort of see here that uh, that we are at a pretty big disadvantage with these enemy boost plus 50 panels. And uh, t it may be a little hard to uh, Maybe a little hard not getting killed. <laughs> we are going to send the uh, sure. Let's say Fenric. Brace yourself. Have him defend. We are going to send him into the uh, the back of the area. Oop, that wasn't supposed to happen. Actually, this is a pretty good opportunity. Those chickens probably have no probably have no way of reaching us, so uh, we can just kind of uh, chuck these geo cubes all over the place. Being incredibly silly in the process. Okay, so now what we want to go do is we want to, instead of destroying that null block, we just want to get it off the just want to get it off the uh, the purple panels. And now our crazy arena is all set up. We can go grinding. By the way, chickens, they silence adjacent enemy units. They can't use special skills. They magic change it to spears. We've already seen all these other guys, but uh, I just wanted to make note of that because chickens are annoying. Anyway, let's get EXP. -y. That's like the most awkward thing, the most awkward word ever. <laughs> you mad? <laughs> it's a thing. Does not quite get to uh, do this special attack, at least not easily. I guess you could hit from here. Can you take all of my attacks? Watch this, big sis! 
Dusko learned true godly weapon. Also, I gave her the ability three transformations, which uh, she unlocked when she leveled up to a certain level. Increase stats by 20% when HP becomes below two thirds and one third. I love them final boss tropes. Anyway, it's star element, it's E level, it has a range of four, and it hits in a plus shaped area. Pretty good. Well, the Torres has not quite learned anything new, but that's fine. <laughs> That's a lot of bonus gauge. Alright, let's get uh, Fuka and Valvatores onto the next area. Just have him defend, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Let's play. Oh, yeah, I turned special animations off. <laughs> oh, well. That shouldn't matter, I mean, we'll see everybody's attacks at this once. Oh, Fenric is poison, that's just wonderful. anything with him. Wanna deal with a chicken? Have Rutil use exploding fists. Or Fenric or anybody else with a ranged attack. <laughs> If I, uh, I bet if I bounced Sasha off of Desko, I could get her to uh, over to Fenric. Yep. Well, let's get her out of the way. Oh, there's a doggy here. Hello, doggy. You must die. Desco can get rid of those guys. Alright. Let's play. Let's get Fenric some EXP. He deserves it after making the map this awesome for us. Let's see, Sasha, you definitely need some EXP too. 
And there we go. That was a map. We can now make the chicken. Yay! Every Zelda's dream come true. You can play as a chicken. You still insist on keeping this up? Enough already. Sometimes it's important to hear what your subordinates have to say. It's fine. Ask me anything. My lord, are you actually enjoying this? <laughs> he refused to talk earlier, but he's willing to tell us about it now. We're just like real friends. Okay, I've got a question. So, is that promise really the reason why you stopped drinking human blood? Indeed. It must have been really important if it got a vampire to stop drinking human blood. Promises, contracts, they are equally noble and sublime to demons. Importance is not the point here. However, I wasn't aware of the weight of a promise back then. After that promise, after I told her I'd watch over her so she wouldn't die, because I took the promise lightly, I felt the weight of it through severe pain three days later. And that's why you're so obsessed with keeping promises. But what are you going to do now that the person you made the promise to is dead? Are you never going to drink blood ever again? Her life or death doesn't matter. I will keep my promise. I made a vow to myself that day. I will never break a promise. He won't change his mind, no matter how many times I tell him to forget the promise. That's why he remains so powerless. The reason that woman died was because of a human war. Our Lord is not to blame for this. It's because of that futile promise. Say no more, Fenric. Since she died before I got to keep my promise, I must refrain from drinking human blood. Anyway, if that angel is Artina, then this is good news for me. I'll finally have the opportunity to scare her and drink her blood. I really hope that's how he truly feels. Uh, somebody's at the door. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that political stuff. <laughs> anyway, so... Now that we've seen that in action... Let's raise the enemy difficulty a little bit! I think, uh... Eight stars should be good. And if we return to Lost Dignity... We will see that things have changed a little bit. Uh, the Geocubes are now stacked all over the place. So... If we were to, for example, throw this yellow cube onto the purple panels, destroy it, change all the panels yellow, we would then have an EXP plus 200% area in one turn. And level 99 enemies are special because they give about triple the experience of level 100 enemies. So, um, having an enemy at level 99 is a very good thing. The, uh... EXP grows, I think, either quadratically or exponentially. Or s it's non-linear up until level 99, and then from level 100 on it becomes linear. So, level 99 enemies and level 323 enemies, they give the same experience. So, having a level 99 enemy on the map is really good. Having it with a EXP plus 150% area is even better. That being said, we are going to... Uh, we are going to... Attempt to do this map. <laughs> I make no promises. Here I come. There. Here I come. 
If it works, though, that's great. Amisa also learned a new attack. It is Grim Spectre. Black laser. Always pretty. There. Now we have our DXP up area. Let's get Desco out here. Let's get Valvatores out here and see if we can't shake things up a little bit. Surround you with dudes. Not Stella though, because Stella lowers people's stats, and it's kind of awkward. Your back is wide open. Do it like this though, and we can see that Valvatores now has an attack stat of over 2,000. So let's use uh, Desco's magic change skill. Let's use Desco's Magic Change skill after uh, doing some damage to the enemies. That was not quite perfect. Oh. Hopefully, uh, Valvatores will be able to... Actually, no. I know an easy way to uh, make sure he survives. Here I come. Just throw him back in the base panel. I cannot say as much for the others, though. Oh wow, we got everybody going on over here. This could be a problem. <laughs> and now the cats are attacking each other. That's pretty good. Alright, so, uh, only a couple guys survived. That's pretty great. Can get Fenric some levels at least. Here I come. I'll show you. And this was probably a bad idea to show off this early in the game, but I don't particularly care. Here I go. Here I go. Me too. Alright, let's see if anybody survives. I highly doubt it. Puppy Brigade! <laughs> there it is with Teal. Let 
Gaga. Suddenly we're playing Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. <laughs> A good effort was made. Go to map select. Now, obviously, that didn't turn out so well, and we lost all the levels we gained, but uh, now you know that that map is there. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> In the next episode, we are just going to continue onward because we really do not need our levels to be that high right off the bat. As fun as it would be to break the second half of the story wide open. Oops, did I spoil the fact that we were halfway through the game? We're about halfway through the game. <laughs> this guy of four has a pretty short story. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye-bye.